ஹலோ யூஜிடிஆர்வி இங்கிலீஷ் யூனிட் ஃபைவ் அமெரிக்கன் லிட்ரேச்சர் டாபிக் ரால்ஃப் வால்டோ எமர்சன் போயம் ரமா ரால்ஃப் வால்டோ எமர்சன் இஸ் அன் அமெரிக்கன் போயட் லிவ் பிட்வீன் எயிட்டீன் நாட் த்ரீ டு எயிட்டீன் டுவெண்ட்டி டூ போயட் டிரான்சென்டென்டலிசம் ஆரிஜினேட்டட் சம்வேர் இன் கன்கார்ட் மெசாச்சூசெட் between 1830 to 1855 this movement is a type of romantic movement and it was against utilitarianism and this movement proposed the concept of organic philosophy which means everything is connected to everything else this movement insisted on a direct experience with god makadavula vandu neerave எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் பண்ணலாம் எந்த மீடியேட்டரும் தேவையில்லை அதே மாதிரி எந்த ரிலீஜியஸ் செட்டப்பும் தேவையில்லை என்று சொல்ல சொன்ன ஒரு மூமெண்ட் தான் டிரான்சென்டென்டலிசம் அண்ட் த மோஸ்ட் ஃபேமஸ் டிரான்சென்டென்டலிஸ்ட் ஆர் ரால்ஃப் வால்டோ எமர்சன் ஹிஸ் டிசாய்பிள் ஹென்ரி டேவிட் தோரோ அண்ட் மார்கரெட் ஃபுல்லர் தெர் ஆர் மெனி மோர் ஆர் ஃபோக்கஸ் இஸ் ஓன்லி ஆன் தீஸ் த்ரீ நவ் கமிங் டு த போயம் பிரம்மா பிரம்மா வாஸ் ரிட்டன் in the year 1856 it is written in 16 lines and the 16 line poem is divided into four quatrains when we see four quatrains it is a stanza in four lines and nangu varigal konda or stanza adha da or quatrain appdin solrom appo or quatrain appdin kettingala what is the rhyme scheme appdina a b a b alternate rhyme scheme though this poem was written in 1856 it was published only in november 1857 in the literary magazine the atlantic now the title of the poem brahma uh, is to be noted that it is named after brahman the universal principle in the vedas uh, in hindu religion we have uh, uh, the triad brahma vishnu and shiva and here in the poem the focus is on brahman the cosmic energy and when we read the poem we find the echoes of what lord krishna tell arjuna in the battlefield at kurukshetra now an analysis of stanza 1 stanza 1 goes like this if the red slayer thinks he slays or if the slain things he is slain they know not well the subtle ways i keep and pass and turn again and the four lines are over who is the speaker speaker of the four lines or the four stanzas the question is that and answer is brahman is the speaker the chief deity of hindu religion okay it is the brahman who says if the slayer thinks he slays here slayer is an allusion to goddess uh, kali and goddess kali is used as a symbol in this poem if the slayer thinks he slays and uh, goddess kali is uh, seen to be a deity with a uh, uh, scabbard and uh, she is known to be a god of destruction and transformation death and after death comes a rebirth so if the slayer thinks he slays or if the one the victim if he thinks he is slain they know not about me and it is not the human being who dies but within the human being it is i the brahman the soul the uh, the jivatma which resides within the atma ஏன் அதாவது இந்த ஜீவாத்மா இந்த ஜீவாத்மா அப்படிங்கிறது இந்த உடல் இந்த உடலுக்குள்ளே இருக்கக்கூடிய ஆன்மா மனித ஆன்மா இந்த மனித ஆன்மா என்ன நினைக்கிது அப்படின்னா நான் வேறு கடவுள் வேறு அப்படின்னு ஒரு டிவலிசத்தை அது மைண்டில் வச்சுருக்கு ஆனால் பிரம்மன் என்ன சொல்கிறாரு அப்படின்னு சொன்னால் அப்படி கிடையாது நானும் அந்த ஜீவாத்மாவும் வேறு இல்லை நான் தான் அது அதுதான் நான் அப்போ ஒரு மனிதன் இறக்கிறான் என்றால் அவன் என்னவா மாறுறான் அப்படின்னா அவன் ஜீவாத்மா அவன் வந்து அந்த பரமாத்மாக்குள்ளார ஒன்றாகிடுறான் ஸோ தட் இஸ் வாட் பிரமன் இஸ் ட்ரைங் டு சே ஹீ இஸ் ட்ரைங் டு ஸ்பீக் அபவுட் த நேச்சர் ஆஃப் த சோல் 
what is the nature of the soul according to stanza 1 i didn't getting it huh? according to stanza 1 the soul is immortal so a uh, man who is about to die need not worry about uh, the nature what would happen of his soul his soul will be immortal stanza 2 goes like this for or forget to me is near shadow and sunlight are the same the vanished gods to me appear the one to me are shame and fear you will find that there are dual concepts which are presented in this stanza for near okay tholaivu anmai remember forget shadow sunlight shame fear idu ella pathinga opposite ana contradictory principles uh, they are oxymorons uh, they are opposite uh, principles presented idu in the ulagathirkku mattum da hey tholaivu pakkam nyabagathil irukkirathu marandu porathu nilal velicham okay shame fame idu ellame in the ulagathila ariyamayil irukkira makkalukku da adu kadavulukku idu ella kedaiyadu when you de go into a state of meditation in a meditative state when you experience the divine you will be able to come out of all these dualities okay so the author emerson is presenting a conflict between uh, the concepts which are upheld by the physical world and the spiritual world when you are entering into the consciousness pure consciousness you will not be worried about all these dual concepts stanza number 3 they reckon ill who leave me not when me they fly i am the wings i am the doubter and the doubt and i the hymn the brahmin sings this poem presents a kind of paradox okay it is god who is behind all actions this is the main idea so all activities that human beings do is because of brahman because brahman is the energy he is the be all and end all he is the one who activates and he is the one who is act acting and now look at uh, the problem which is presented at the beginning of this poem the poem thodangum bodu the beginning la enna solraru appadina idu ulagathile neriya peru towards the end of their life and the walkeen kadasi nimishathila enna nenikiraanga ayyo okay yen ipdi kadavula enna uttutaaru appadina nichinga avaru enna solraru appadina don't worry i am not leaving you away when you suffer it is i who suffer if you become a skeptic கடவுள் நம்பிக்கை இல்லாதவனாக போனீங்கன்னா அதுவும் யார் உள்ள இருக்கிறா கடவுள் உள்ள இருக்கிறாரு அண்ட் வென் யூ சே ப்ரேயர்ஸ் ஐ ஆம் த ப்ரேயர் அண்ட் ஐ ஆம் த ஒன் டு ஹூம் ப்ரேயர்ஸ் ஆர் அட்ரெஸ் த வேர்ல்டு பிராமின் ஹியர் யூஸ்ட் இன் த போயம் ரெஃபர்ஸ் டு த ப்ரீஸ்டி கிளாஸ் இன் இண்டியா நவ் கம்மிங் டு த லாஸ்ட் ஸ்டான்சா ஓகே ஃபோர்த் ஸ்டான்சா லுக் அட் த வே இட் ரீட்ஸ் the strong gods pine for my abode and pine in vain the sacred seven but thou meek lover of the good find me and turn thy back to heaven okay look at the word pine pine means longing and so god is speaking about uh, uh, how people long to see where god is இந்த உலகத்தில் இருக்கிற எல்லா மக்களும் கடவுளை தேடி இலையிறாங்க அவங்களுக்குன்னு ஒரு லாங்கிங் இருக்குது அப்புறம் சொல்கிறாரு பாருங்கள் த சேக்ரட் செவன் த சேக்ரட் செவன் அப்படிங்கும்போது சப்த ரிஷீஸ் மென்ஷன்ட் இன் ரிக்வேதா ஏ ஆல் தோஸ் சேஜர்ஸ் ரிஷீஸ் முனிவர் இவர்கள் எல்லாம் என்ன பண்ணியிருக்காங்கன்னா தே ஹேவ் பீன் சர்ச்சிங் ஃபார் த பிளேஸ் வேர் காட் ரிசைட்ஸ் பட் தே வேர் நாட் ஏபிள் டு எக்ஸாக்ட்லி லொக்கேட் வேர் காட் இஸ் பட் and according to emerson that is god reside god resides in the meek lover of the good if you love good then god resides in 
yourself. God is not outside of the self, but he is inside the soul. And this is again a Christian concept. It is also found in the Vedas and Upanishads. So Emerson is able to link the Western philosophy and the Eastern philosophy, the Christian philosophy and the Hindu philosophy. So where is heaven? And when you find uh, uh, Jesus in the Bible, he says, the kingdom of God is right here. He doesn't refer to place. He is referring to the human soul, eh, which is good. The same idea is echoed by Emerson in the poem. Eh, heaven is not outside, but it is in the human soul. It is in the mind. Hope you all understood. Now let's pass on to the tests. Question number one. When was the poem Brahman written? There are four options. Option A, 1846. Option B, 1843. Option C, 1844. Option D, 1856. Yeah, you have got the answer right. 1856. Next question. What concept does the speaker of the Brahma transcend? Okay, what concept does the speaker of Brahma communicate? Okay, in the first stanza, okay, it is okay, duality. Okay, so um, the speaker in uh, Brahma says, I don't fall prey to uh, this dual concepts. Yeah, I am a spirit. For a spirit in the far near Abdingra. And the dualism kadayadu, adai kadandu naan irkirayen. Remembrance, forgetfulness. Idhu vandhu physical reality ikku mattu thaa, the body in the human beings ikku mattu thaa, kadavulukku adu kadayadu. So, the speaker transcends uh, the concept of duality. Question number three. What is the main theme of the first stanza of the poem Brahma by Emerson? Okay. Four options irukku. Anisha's beauty, the immortality of the soul, the duality of existence, the struggle of life and death. Yes, you have got the right answer right. It deals with the immortality of the soul. In the Anma, Ali Vatradi, Adanala, the body the Alinja Piro, Anna in the Anma, Yepurdame, Nilaya Yuko, Adi, Kadavul, Abdira concept. Question number four. According to Brahma, all activities. Efforts and results are. This is the All activities, all activities, all they are nothing but Brahman, Brahma, the energy. Okay? That is the answer. Option B. Question number 5. According to Emerson, seeker, the prayer that is offered, and the God who hears it are. That is the one who goes after God. The same. You're right. The answer is option C. According to Emerson, the seeker, prayer and uh, the God are one and the same. The question has got repeated. Anyhow, question number 7. What figure of speech is used in the line shadow and sunlight are the same? Yeah, there are four options. Assonance, hyperbole, personification, sibilance. Assonance, Arina, the first vowel sound should uh, uh, be the same. Then hyperbole, exaggeration, uh, and personification is... Uh, 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 Lifeless thing, life full of the solo kudiya, the personification. But the answer is sibilance. A sibilance na yena, abina, s sound and z on the sound. When it gets repeated within a line. Here you find in shadow, sun, and same. Eh, that is s sound which is repeated. So the answer is sib uh, sibilance. Now, question number eight. What is the predominant tone of the poem Brahman? Tone. The tone of the poem is irony. And what we see 
uh, is something, but what it is is something else. Okay, we are going to destroy ourselves, we are going to destroy ourselves, but uh, according to the speaker of the poem Brahma, uh, the body alone gets destroyed, but uh, the soul remains uh, immortal. So, it's irony and one form of irony which is often presented in the poem is paradox, paradoxical idea and oxymoron. Okay, so here the answer is irony. Question number 9. What figure of speech is used in the line for or forget to me is near shadow and sunlight are the same. I have uh, highlighted all these uh, informations. These are opposite ideas. When you present opposite ideas in, uh, in a line and when you place them close by, it's called oxymoron. So the answer is oxymoron. Question number 10. Who is the speaker of the poem Brahma? The speaker of the poem Brahma is the cosmic energy Brahma himself. What is the rhyme scheme of Brahma? Alternate rhyme scheme. You're right. Option C. Question number 12. Okay. In which magazine was Brahma published in the year 1857? In the magazine, la, in the Brahma was published 1857. We all know the answer. Yes, it's right. The Atlantic. Very good. We will meet with another video. In the meanwhile, kindly like the video, comment, subscribe and share. And if you subscribe, you will get a lot of motivation for us to get a lot of new videos. So please do subscribe and please do share this video with your friends. Thank you.